So we decided to take a little trip to Moonville today. And I've been doing a little more research and found out there was another tunnel that's bigger and longer that is on the same rail trail. You can walk the rail trail if you want or drive. Uh, it's probably about the same distance either either way. But we're getting ready to come up on this thing and it's, it's pretty amazing, guys. Um, I'm about to get muddy here, I think. Whoa! <laughs> we better watch these guys because they'll probably get wet. I'm less likely to fall down than you. looks pretty spongy. Are you recording her not falling down? I just recorded you almost falling. Almost falling. She made it. I thought there'd be more entertainment than that. <laughs> I'm not live streaming. I'm just doing a little, a little video here, so we can have some records of this. Down the hill, across. Oh, I almost broke my leg. All right, here we are, guys. Check this out. Kind of like Moonville. How am I going to get back up this? Should we see if they fall? Is, am I going to be able to get back up this? No. Don't trip over that. Oh, that's Is she going to sit down and slide down on her butt? She made it. I should have more faith in her abilities, huh? Well, this bridge, unlike the Moonville Tunnel, is not bricks. It is made of wood, like um, creosote logs, like a train trussle. All wood. Pretty sweet, huh? I dig it. Let's take a walk back in here. Ooh, that just took a picture, didn't it? I think this one might end up being full. Of, it very it smells really, really musty in here. It's probably full of water. We may or may not be able to get all the way through this thing. This is why it's all musty. Why? Because they cave right Oh, the holes? Yeah, some of the boards are missing. I heard about that. And you can see into the actual... This was cut through a gigantic rock. You can see right there. Almost like a cave that goes up into there. I'm sure this place isn't like <laughs> totally secure, but these beams are huge. They're like 12 by 12 beams. Pretty wild stuff, man. There's a lot of cool things to see in Ohio. <laughs> you got to make your way through here because there's a lot of uh, water on the ground. No, you said you're recording. And it's kind of sticky and muddy. Right. <laughs> you can hear it. We're kind of having to zigzag back and forth as we go across here. Who knows if we're going to be able to make it all the way across. Yeah, it feels pretty gross on your feet when you're walking through here. It's moist. Hey, look. Then we gotta walk back through. Yes. <laughs> Unless you can go over that top somehow or another. But it smells like basements until about eight. It does, it smells like basements. It's pretty pretty freaking I would say this is probably twice as long as Moonville Tunnel, guys. I know I'm probably boring you to death walking clear through this thing, but it's kind of a neat experience. Especially thinking that a train used to come flying through here. I would say probably just one set of tracks as narrow as it is. Uh, it's probably 16 to 20 feet wide. We're almost out of the other end now. Uh, this is entertaining as ever, if nothing else. Did you hear that, guys? Let's see what I got to deal with. Okay, we're out, officially out the other side. I'm going to keep walking this way until you can see behind me the tunnel. Death by black mold. No doubt. Into a huge rock, kind of just the same as Moonville. But anyway, hope you all liked it.